Defiance looking to claim a share of the WBL crown standing in their way. The Bath Wildcats and Blaine Albright on the bump. First inning, Albright with back-to-back -back strikeouts, two of his 12 on the day as he go the distance. Bottom one, Aiden Kessling, though, is going to return the favor as he gets the strikeout looking. He would have seven on the afternoon as he pitched a complete game, giving up three runs. Bottom two, Ricky Deppi with a hit down the right field line. That brings in Cade Price, but Joel Razor right behind him, motoring in from third. He's tagged out on the relay from Gavino Gomez, but the Wildcats do go up one to nothing. Move to the fourth now. Albright is going to get the strikeout. However, the ball gets away from the catcher, and the throw is wide of first. Gomez comes in to score. This game's all tied up at one apiece. But Albright would escape any further harm with the strikeout in the next batter. And the Wildcats would get the 3-2 to two dub to stay in the WBL title hunt. Over to Players Field, where LCC was playing the fourth-ranked St. Henry Redskins. Bottom five, Matt Sierra. Gonna hit a liner to center field, past the outfielder, racing around third, all the way from first is Billy Burke, who slides head first and gets in. However, the umpire calls him out, even though the ball comes free. We stay at four apiece. Bottom six, LCC up five to four, but a pass ball allows Hayden Boakman to come in and score, all tied up at six apiece. The top nine now, one out. Gabe Sierra with the six three double play as Burke is gonna get the tag at first. LCC lives to fight another inning. To the 11th we go, LCC down 6-5, Jacob Locke doubles on a line drive, Carson Parker comes in to score, and the T-Birds tie it up yet again. And then in the 12th, Matthew Quatman at the dish, and he singles the left field, Jake Neiman comes in to score, and the comeback T-Birds win 7-6 in a thriller. Mac meets NWC in middle point as the Lincoln View Lancers play host. The Minster Wildcats were scoreless in the fifth, but not for long. Logan Cooney pokes his ball in the center field. That scores Brady Wolf for the game's first run. And round in third is Connor Schmeezing. He slides home safely, and Minster takes a 2-0 lead. Same score in the bottom six. Austin Bachrath sends a grounder into left field. Chase Overholt hustling around third. He will score, and the Lancers cut the Wildcats' lead to one. Now Jack Dunlap is up, and he decides to go opposite field with the base hit. Bachrath scores. The Lancers tie things up at two. To extras we go. In the eighth, Nathan Bear is at the plate, and the suicide squeeze is on. The out is recorded at first, but Cooney does score. That's the game winner as Minster takes this one three to two. On to softball action, Minster is the second-ranked Lady Cats host LCC in Division IV sectional finals play. We head to the bottom third. Minster already up 3 nothing. And that's when Michaela Hoskins is going to get a grounder up the middle to go past a couple T-Birds. And Lindy Hemelgarn rounds the bases all the way from first for the run and the RBI double. It's 4-0 Minster. And then next at bat, Hannah Oldages hits the third. It's fielded by the Lady T-Birds, but the throw to first is wide, so the Lady Cats keep running as Hoskins comes around third and slides home safely. Minster goes up 5-0. Next at bat, after that, is Casey Albers gets the ball to left center for the RBI single, bringing home Lauren Tyler. It's 6 nothing, Lady Cats. A couple batters later, it's Addy Inskeeps. Hits, hit, the hit doesn't go far, but didn't need to. Another run comes in. That's a seventh run. Minster goes on to win this one 10 to nothing. They'll face the winner of this next matchup. Now down the road, more softball postseason play in New Bremen as the Lady Cardinals host Upper Scioto Valley in Division IV sectional finals. Picking it up in the bottom sixth, the home team up 3-0 with a runner on third as Mackenzie Bornhorst pops up the sacrifice bunt in the air. That'll bring Olivia Demeyer home on the slide. New Bremen goes up 4-0. We head to the next at bat. Lauren Holman gets the grounder up the middle, bringing home Bornhorst for another New Bremen run. It's now 5-0 game. Same inning, Allison Hayes at the bat, and her grounder to short is enough to bring home Jana Rismiller. It's six nothing Lady Cards. Next batter, Ella Pape smacks the line drive along the left field line, bringing home both Sarah Dwinger and Hayes to make it eight nothing home team. And then next batter after that, Demeyer gets the grounder to left to go by the USV infield, bringing home Bushman from second base for the ninth run of the game. Cards get the nine to nothing win and play Minster and Wapak on Monday at six. More softball action from Middle Point. It's an all NWC clash between Lipsick and Lincoln View as they battle in the sectional finals. Taylor Post in the pitcher circle for the Lady Lancers, and in the second, she gets three Lady Vikings swing for one, two, three frame. The game remains scoreless. Now to the third, Lincoln View leads 1 0. Laney Spear belts his ball to straightaway center. Say goodbye to that one. That's her 10th home run of the season as a two run blast puts her team up 3 to nothing. Now Gracie Brickner is at the plate, and she sends a hot shot up the middle. That scores Braxton Sherrick, and right behind her is Sylvia Longstreth. Home team now leads 5-0. In 
Then here's Sydney Fackler at bat. She sends the ball right to, to right field there for a base knock. Emma Bowersock rounds third. She will score Lincoln View. Goes on to win 11 0. They'll play Continental in the district semis on Monday at Dorothy Edwards Field in Elida at five.